The losing team that loses has to choose one guy in the team to jump into the pool. One, two, three. <laughs> Welcome guys to yet another video here. I am Carl and this video will be full of cars. A good friend of mine, Kareem Luxury, just called me and said, Carl, there's a crazy car event with hundreds and hundreds of supercars lined up just a few minutes down the road here. So we're gonna go there, check it out. And then I'm gonna go play some paddle with some very good friends of mine. I hope you guys will enjoy this little, um, little vlog. And here you have the beautiful view of my apartment. I must say, it is quite inspirational. Every morning I go out here, I take a look at this view and I tell myself how much grateful I feel about my life, about what I've done so far and what I'm going to do in the future. Being grateful is very important and it's very easy to be grateful when you stand like this in front of something beautiful. All right guys, let's go downstairs. My driver is waiting for me right now. Let's go. Right now, I'm in my beautiful, beautiful comfort machine. <laughs> it's comfort, right? It is very comfortable. Maybach is the best car in the world. And actually, I just got uh, these uh, caps. These are original Maybach caps. They're very nice. So Benji is actually the guy who manages all media in uh, Moon Group, which is my group of companies. Yes, I do. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff coming up. Yes. <laughs> You're always busy. You're always in the office. I'm always there. Actually, I was also today in the office before I came. Oh, really? Yeah. It's Sunday today for it's some Sunday. context for everyone. <laughs> Usually, I'm also there on Sundays, but today I uh, took my calls from uh, from my apartment, actually. But yeah, Benji's always there from morning to evening, including Phil also, by the way, who's behind the camera. Right now, you're kind of in front of the camera, but on the side of the camera. The media team never <laughs> sleeps. Yeah. Not possible with Carl. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's put them on and see how it looks like. And then Phil can... Uh, be the judge. I need some time to develop an opinion on that. Okay. You know what? I think it's fine. Are yours? I'm not sure. Yeah, you because to, of my... Uh, you have to put it down a little bit. Yeah, well. because of your hair, right? My hair, yeah. I'm... Mm. Uh, but this is good. Now I'm, I have a bun, so this is, a, this is yeah. a problem with cap. But the girls like the bun, right? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, you should know, right? Maybe they can comment down in the video. They like it. All the <laughs> one percent of the girls watching this. <laughs> exactly. It's honestly, guys, my viewership is like ninety-nine percent men, and one percent Russian girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who, who are the girls watching, but shout outs to all of you ladies watching this right now. If you are a lady watching this, leave a comment down below. Why are you watching my videos? I would love to know. And where are you watching from? What country? If it's Russian, you can DM me on Instagram. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste any time. <laughs> okay, I guess we're rolling up to the place now. And everyone is kind of wondering why I don't bring my Bugatti today, but I mean, we're three guys, right? So how, how could we possibly fit in fit the Bugatti? In the, that's impossible. We could have taken two cars, of course. Yeah, but this is more comfortable. This is very comfortable. And I like my Maybach, honestly. I have nothing against this car. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's maybe the best car in the world. Value per money, it's very high. Guys, I am interviewing very interesting people, sometimes in my Maybach, and then I make a video of it, and I ask them about mindset. How did they become successful? Are they using the law of attraction? All of these things. I will leave a link down below, and you can press this thing up here because if you press it you will go directly to that playlist with, with all of my Maybach talks so far I will make more very soon with Da Vinci and other cool people so make sure to go to that playlist right now no watch to the very end and then go to the playlist <laughs> fine that's better yeah you can see it's not the original red look inside the doors it's different. Yeah, actually, but you can see that the paint looks strange, so yeah, for sure it's it looks, not the it looks not. It looks actually shit. <laughs> yeah. I but don't, inside, I, the I red inside say looks it, much better. Much better, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. Let's, let's move on maybe to something else. Okay, where do we uh, start? This is a Supra, isn't it? Toyota Supra Turbo. Interesting car. You like the Supra, Benji, or no? You're on YouTube, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah, how are you? Bro? Nice to meet you, bro. Love your videos. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Can I make a picture with you? Of course. No worries, have a good day. This I like. This is a car I will definitely get at some point. This is the car Shmi has, right? Shmi has one, yeah, yeah. This is actually cool for the track. And Ferrari is always Ferrari, right? 
Yeah, actually, you should get all, all three of them. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Yeah. It I would mean, fit perfectly. This this is a perfect collection. Yeah, and crypto has been going up a little bit lately. So yesterday I made enough to to buy nine of them. Nine of them. Just nice. from yesterday's gains. Now they can That's... calculate your net worth. <laughs> <laughs> they are math geniuses. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but honestly, like today was a great day, so like my gains, I, I, I could just buy them. Yeah, yeah, 23, 22k. Yeah, let's just say that's way better than before. Yeah, much yeah. better. Where are the Bugattis? Mercedes E Class. Not too bad. 6.3 AMG. That's a great family car, actually. Yeah. My family actually had one of these uh, way back, but a way cheaper version, not the AMG version. Mm. Oh! Your favorite car in the whole yeah, wild world. Car. So Benji's favorite car is the GT3 RS Porsche. Yes. Correct? Correct. My all-time favorite. Yeah? Yeah. Why? I mean, look at it. <laughs> I don't, don't need to tell more, right? It looks incredible. It looks incredible. It's, Most uh, importantly, it, dri it drives. Yesterday I drove it on the track. Yeah. Perfect for the track. Yeah. The question is, what color should I make my uh, Porsche? Because now it's black, I want to change it. What should I do? I would uh, say we should uh, wrap it up in white and put the moon logo on it. Okay, guys, Somehow. let me know right now. I have a GT3 RS. I'm asking you, what color should I make it? What should I put on it? I mean, my, the moon logo, my face maybe. We could brand it the same way than the, the Formula 2 car, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> we could, we could. Okay, what else do we have here? There's a lot, there's a lot of like Asian cars. Yeah, right. a lot of uh, Toyotas. Nissan, and, uh, Toyota. I'm not so sure about the Asian cars. I prefer the European cars, to be honest. I really should have put uh, my cars here, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe this is like the Asian corner, and then there's it like another like... corner. Because this is only Asian cars, yeah. so it must be like that. Yeah, you like it? I mean, it's great money for value. Great money for value or great value for money? Exactly. I wanted to say it, but I was like, mm, I'll just let, I'll, I will allow it to pass. <laughs> okay, so the Nissan GTR, I was playing a lot. I think it was uh, Need for Speed Underground 2, I believe it was. Good, good times. And also, um, Need for Speed Most Wanted was one of my favorite games of all time. Did you guys play it or no? Yeah. It's the best game maybe of all time. Yeah. Maybe we should get an old PlayStation and uh, get back to these old games and play them in the office. Yeah. No, let's definitely get a PlayStation for the office and definitely we play some old school games. Yeah. I also want to play Guitar Hero. I love Guitar yeah, Hero. Yeah. Okay, this is definitely a, a different kind of event. Usually we go to these more like exclusive events. This, is, this looks really like yeah. open and public, so a lot of people. And only in Dubai can you walk around with a watch openly like this. If this was any other country in the world, I would have like three guards right now. Oh, that is... 280 SL Mercedes from the 50s, potentially the 60s. Wow, this looks like a uh, 200 SE. Let's check 300 SE. It's a 300 SE, very beautiful. And actually, Sometimes I tell you that I like the color of my Bugatti because it looks a little, little bit vintage with the cream white and red interior. Look ah, at this. Yeah, yeah. Cream white Same. and red interior. Same. I like my Bugatti colors. I should have brought my Bugatti today. It could have been cool to, to put it here maybe. These Porsches are very beautiful as well. Oh, I think this is a Rolls Royce Corniche. Very, very elegant. Very beautiful. Okay, 360. Very nice. One of my cars when I was a kid, I always wanted the Ferrari 360. And the Testarossa is also beautiful. Two of my favorite cars, actually. These were so cheap, like, um, five, six years ago. Now they went up, like, double, triple in price. I think they're cool. They're becoming classics somehow. And the Testarossa is always a classic. Let me know down below, guys. Should I get some of these? I think they will go up in value. So this is the SF90. I think it's... A thousand horsepower. So it has the same horsepower as my Veyron 250 GT from 59. All the old Ferraris are very, very expensive. Wow. Okay, this is next level stuff, right? Imagine cruising around with this. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. This is cooler than my Bugatti, right? This is really cool. Wow. But I would still not change. I feel like it's good I have uh, sunglasses in this so people don't recognize it. Really? It's really mesh, it's the outfit, it's nice. Yeah. 
and also not everyone recognizes me. Because I never wear a cap, no one recognizes me with a cap. But after this video they will. What is it, 760, 765? The color is nice. Yeah, very cool. I'm a fan, but not a massive fan. But I, but I am a fan. What is this? Is it the like and hyperspeed? These are actually becoming classics. I think this is the uh, SL, 500 SL. SLS, of course, a uh, very, very cool car. A, um, a newer version of the 300 SL, I guess. E50 AMG. All of these are kind of maybe becoming a bit classic right now, I guess. Back in the 50s, they made beautiful cars. I'm not sure why they, uh, they stopped making cars like this, but this is a beautiful Bentley. They always have tables in the back as well. We can check it out right now. That's cool. The tables in the back. So many random cars. Everything. Yeah. Here are some BMWs. But all of them are like vintage, so it's like yeah. all of them have... They're like historical in a way. Yeah. Okay, so these are very expensive, but this is the coupe version. If it's the convertible version, this would be like hundreds of thousands of dollars. The coupe, I'm not so sure, but it's still very expensive. The 3.5 280SE. Yeah, this is very expensive, very beautiful. Another Corniche, I think. I drove one of these, by the way. Remember, Phil, in Monaco? Yeah, yeah. you drove it. Yeah, I drove this. It's, um, Corniche. it's like floating. It's oh. like a boat. It's like, like a yacht, Like a right? cloud, yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely incredible. And this one is the uh, 250, 250 uh, SL or 280 SL, yeah. Depends on the engine. So I think they range from 220 to 280 or something, or even more. Very beautiful. As you guys can tell, I really like old vintage old Mercedes vintage cars. cars. Is that an E type? I think that's an E type. Jaguar E type 4.2. This is a very, very nice color. For how long is this car staying here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, I don't know what to say right now. I'm assuming uh, this is purposely done like this. GT4. I believe these are manual, actually. I think they only come in manual. It's a bit strange, right? It's like only manual. Yeah. Paddle location, what's the paddle location? Sky paddle. Ahmad Mahmoud is coming as well. And he brings a um, Saudi royal person. Okay, uh, Lamborghini Gallardo. That what looks like someone uh, f***ed it up real bad. Do you think it's even a real one? This looks like a fake one. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not even real, right? Not sure how to think about that. I like these older Porsches, they're really cute somehow. They're, they're really tiny, it looks like a Matchbox car. <laughs> yeah, it looks very small, but it looks... Uh, it's just beautiful somehow. Also how you sit inside, very close to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I don't think they're very expensive. Might be good value per money. And I think they maintain their value because they're older, vintage, right? Oh, that's another E-Type, I think. Yeah, there are so many parks in Dubai which we never... Never so this is it. a um, E-Type Coupe, the other one was a convertible. This is red. Honestly, I think the E-Type is one of the most beautiful cars. Oh, look at the engine, that looks cool. This was uh, back in the days when cars were completely mechanical. Today it's like yeah. computers, right? You could. In these days you can fi could fix everything by yourself. Yeah, my dad is like that. He, he goes into the cars and he fixes and fixes. Yeah, yeah. He was actually really smart when he was a kid. He was like uh, buying bicycles fixing them and selling them for a little bit uh, a little bit more and then he bought cars for like ten dollars twenty dollars like completely non-working cars yeah. he fixed them a little bit and sold them for like 10x more yeah but he's actually very smart my dad he he was able to make some money back in like school from doing these things maybe that's where i got my jeans oh this is nice yeah yeah your kind of type yeah i think this one is like a very special one I'm not a huge Porsche uh, ex expert, but I just f have a feeling this is not uh, cheap. Benji, do you know about this car? No, it's a GT. <laughs> yeah, it says GT, that's all I know right now. But I, I mean, I, I, I have a feeling that I've seen it online before that it's just very expensive. I never saw him dropping his phone. He does that like 75 
I, I can't drop my phone because um, the law of gravity doesn't apply to me because my, uh, my energy level is just so elevated. What do you think about the R8? Yeah, R8 is also nice. I'm not a massive fan, but I must say it is a... Uh, they did a good job on this. They did a good job. It's a, it's a great car, I guess. I just feel like if I'm spending that money, I, I don't want to spend it on an Audi. I, I'd rather buy than an, a Lambo or a Ferrari or, or a, a Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. Which true. I did, by the way, so I got the Porsche instead. I mean, this, this is the same price like the Porsche, but I just feel like the GT3 RS is more value for the money. Oh, that's the Burj Khalifa, actually. We might as well just mention that real quick. So the Burj Khalifa is in Dubai. It is the highest tower or building structure in the world. Impressive stuff. Actually, if you would place this building somewhere else in the world, it would look much higher. Because yeah. here are all the other high buildings. Yeah. At yeah. the end, it looks, looks not so high. That's somehow. true. <laughs> These buildings we see over there, if you put that in Sweden, yeah. it will be the tallest <laughs> building by like like quadruples. In Europe. I yeah, guess. highest <laughs> in Europe by like three times. <laughs> I think that the, the Eiffel Tower doesn't even come close yeah. to this. Leave your thumbs up right now if you think this is uh, decent content. I get it, it's not insane content. It cannot be private jets every single day, right? Oh wow, okay. I just found one of my favorite cars in the whole wild world. The SLR McLaren and we have to go check it out right now because honestly, it's one of my favorite cars. And I see Dodge Viper, I see also Murcielago, which is one of my other favorite cars. So I think finally we're getting somewhere. Wow, guys, okay, this is it. Okay, this is the SLR McLaren 722. Manny Koshpin would right now get a huge hard on. If he's watching, he has it already right now. <laughs> no, but honestly, even like 10, 15 years ago, when this baby came out, it's been a favorite car of mine since such a long time. I'm a huge Mercedes fan. It will never be replicated. They will never make it again. It's a collaboration between Mercedes and McLaren. The, the design is just iconic. It's yeah. uh, unique, right? It's so long in the front. The hood is way longer than any other normal car and has all of these cool vents. I'm not a fan of these wheels. I would have the original wheel or the, the rims. This is just incredible. Yeah, I love this car. I'm gonna get one. 100%, maybe, maybe more than one. Another one of my favorite cars is the Murcielago. If I buy a Lambo, I buy a Murcielago. Wow, that's a beautiful interior as well. I like this, against the red. Very nice. Dodge Viper, definitely. Yeah, it's cool, right? And here we have two of them next to each other. This I also played in uh, Most Wanted, I think. <laughs> and this is the 200 S, uh, 280 SL. This is uh, also called the um, Pagode, I think. I don't know how to explain it or in, in English, but the Pagode. Another Testarossa. Very, very beautiful. Okay, so I would say all in all, it's a great collection of cars here. There's another 280 SL, could be a 250 also. I think it's like uh, $150,000 maybe. You are a millionaire, please help me. Yeah, yeah. Nice message. Look, he, he, he sent it also 30 times. Look. <laughs> I would get anxiety reading Look this. at that. Ah. Sir, please don't block me. I requested to many people, but no one helped me. <laughs> Sir, you are a millionaire. It is little thing for you. Sir, it is very little thing for you. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel bad for people that lost money, but the, the problem with people sending me these things is how do I know that that actually happened? Yeah. Some people, they send me these messages, just want free money, right? Like, so I don't know. I, I can't just randomly send people money. I hope people understand that. I can make giveaways for my, my, my followers. Maybe I'll do that on Instagram. What's your Instagram again? At the Moon Carl, or you search my name, Carl Runefeld. Boom, you'll find it. It is uh, one of the most epic pages, full of inspiration and motivation for the younger generations, but even the older generations. Honestly, it's never too late to start building your dream life. Even if you're 60 years old, you, you still have multiple decades to go where you can change your life dramatically uh, for you, for your children, for your grandchildren, and for everyone else around you. So never too late, age is just a number, I think. All right, that was it. Let's now go to the paddle tennis court and play some paddle. Thank you, Shiab. Okay, Benji, what was your favorite car? Uh, no question, it's still the GT3 RS. <laughs> oh yeah? I mean, there were a lot of classic nice cars, but um, always. This car is catching me. Mm. For me, I think the, the SLR McLaren probably was my favorite. 
I must yeah. say the Jaguar E-Type is beautiful as well. Or the Murcielago yeah. was also beautiful. Always the classic cars, right? You yeah. like always the classic cars. I like the classics. Yeah. Even the 50s. Like I, I like the the 280 SE, the, two, mm. the, the SL, all these, these vintage uh, Mercedes's. But guys, I think the most important thing is to ask the audience. Comment down below right now. Which car was your favorite? Also leave the timestamp to that car so everyone else can go and take a look at your favorite car. I wanna see them right now. I will go through all the comments by the way and, uh, and I will see what you guys uh, think. And also leave a thumbs up. Don't stop watching because right now we're going to play some paddle tennis. This will be insane. Yes. I beat you this time. I'm very confident. Oh really? <laughs> well that's good. The confidence is, uh, is good. Or maybe we play together. That's better, That's yeah. Because then for sure you will win. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hey, how are you, bro? Hey, man. Hi, bro. Everything good? Hey, bro. Hey. Hey. How are you? How are you? Oh, you have your own stuff. Huh? You have your own stuff. Yeah. Stars. So you have your own like professional gear. Like, like, yeah. I love it. It's nice. Wait, I didn't bring anything. Is that bad? Anything? What? No paddle, or racket, or anything. No. It's fine. Oh, you have your own one. Professional. Wow. So what, what, what can we expect? Uh, <laughs> I'm just learning. You're just learning? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, then it's good. <laughs> and here, crocodile. Yeah, crocodile, yeah. But this is beautiful, actually. Beautiful. Yeah, if it's an albino crocodile, then this is very expensive, right? This is Himalayan crocodile. Very expensive. The most expensive in the world. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. How are you, bro? I good? <laughs> Cross off. Should we uh, warm up right now and play some yeah. panel? We have two portraits. Yeah, I guess so. Let's uh, start over here. And our dreams is already playing. Let's go. Good job, Josh. How's it going? Well, it's going uh, well. Me and Anar are having a huge showdown right now. He's uh, playing very, very well. He's following and his dream. Me. Yeah, four people now. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That's a good challenge. Yeah, something, yeah, challenge. Okay, so what challenge and what happens to the loser? 100 push ups. I think he is. Okay, I know, I know, I know. The, the, the losing team that loses has to choose one guy in the team to jump into the pool. In my, team, <laughs> in, in my team, for example, it would be you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Best out of three. Yeah, that's a good one. Best of three? Yeah. Benji, please. Let's play well. <laughs> Best of I'd three rather games. bet like three thousand dollars. Today someone goes to sleep. It's very yeah, cold. Someone goes in the pool today. Actually, That's it's too cold for Dubai. Okay, guys. So the winning team does not have to jump in the pool, but the losers have to get one of the team members into the pool. That's crazy. Let's please win. Please. I, I give my best. The world's been infected with a few men selected by those who. match number one but we won match number two so now it's the the deciding match who's gonna okay. jump in the pool <laughs> <laughs> it, the stakes are high honestly <laughs> so if wait wait would you rather yes 100%. give the winning team ten thousand dollars or jump in the pool i would be less uh, nervous if it was ten thousand dollars yeah strings and the unknown is soon to be well known there's no One of you go swimming. If we lose, we go together. I, I, I prefer just seeing one of you jump in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So basically, um, they do rock, paper, scissors, three and times, yeah. three times. The one who loses of you jumps into the pool. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, one, zero. zero. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> two zero. Winter swimming today. Wow. At least he looks happy about it. <laughs> this lucky fellow. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. All my anxiety. This is the gone. happiest day of your life, huh? Yeah, honestly. Oh my god. 
Let's keep it family friendly though. <laughs> Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Come on, guys! How, how cold is it? <laughs> too warm in the street. Yes? Really? Too hot today. Nah. <laughs> it looks like fun, but I will pass. What's the next bet? Uh, 1,000 dirham or 5,000 dirham. This is okay. <laughs> this is okay. It's easy, huh? Yeah, easy. Yeah, I'll pull it up right now. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, so we won. Okay, Benji. I think that's the moon power. Look at For that. For sure. When you work in moon group, you can do anything. You win everything. Yes, and I can rely on Benji always. <laughs> wow, that was a great match. I'm very happy that we're still both dry. Dry because we didn't jump in the water, but it was <laughs> yes. very sweaty. Yeah, but, it was yeah. a very big game. But that was cool that we won. Good yeah. stuff. Bro. And uh, we're actually gonna drop you off now because you have a flight to catch in uh, how many hours? In uh, six hours, I need to be at the airport. Okay, you're going to uh, to one of uh, my companies to, to to check the status, right? Yeah, the status and uh, how the employees are doing and uh, say hi. That's over good. There. Build some uh, some uh, connections. Connections exactly between the teams. I would love to join, but this time I can't. But I will join next time. And then we go to Germany, we go to Malaysia because, as you know, guys, I have companies all around the world. But this time you will go and uh, represent us. Exactly. Good stuff. Yeah. So um, you are excused. Thank you. Bro. <laughs> Right, have you. a fun time uh, in the Pakistan. I will. See you guys. Thank you, Shia. Welcome, sir. Look at that. That is... I like that. It's cool. Okay. I never went to a restaurant looking like this before. At least I have mm -hmm. a, a beautiful watch. Now everyone can see, actually. Look. So here you have the moon. And here you have the moon. Such a coincidence. Very nice <laughs> coincidence. Hey, guys. If you want to go and watch my content on my crypto channel if you want to learn how to trade how to yeah everything about crypto basically link down below hey. Hey. you remember Rahim? of course yeah. how are you bro? <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you bro how are you? Privet. you know guys this song Talk look at lot. me Habibi <laughs> this guy made this song look at me Habibi oh, oh. that's what you saying bro long time <laughs> miss you bro miss you Okay, let's uh, jump in. And this is nice thing, guys, about Dubai. You always meet very cool people. How are you, bro? Everything good? I'm good, bro. Yeah. We're just on the next table, yeah, yeah, yeah. my back to you, and we're just chilling here. It's we're always like this. Yeah. Dubai is amazing. So uh, you are a very young uh, crypto trader. 21 years old. I started trading six years. Bro, this is my sixth year as a trader. That's crazy. That's, bro, I've got gray hairs. I'm <laughs> 21, bro. Crypto does that to you. It's not okay. It's not okay. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but yeah, dude, it's, it's, it's been all right. I think we're in a bear trap. Oh, you're bearish. I think we're in, in the beginning of the bull market now. Really? Yes. I think it's going to go back. I, I feel so rich now because in the past few days, finally, my net worth got a small little blip on the yeah. back up. Yeah. After a huge down like this. like. Whoop. I certainly hope to start a bull run because I'm all in on Bitcoin. Yeah, same. <laughs> so same, if it's same. not... Yeah. It's amazing. Guys, link down below to his YouTube channel yeah. and Instagram and everything. Cheers, bro. Good stuff, bro. Yeah. Enjoy your dinner. You too, bro. Bro, the watch is beautiful, man, but is, is it heavy? It seems like it's probably heavy. Yeah, it's... I mean, check it out. Bro, slowly, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is this a Trebion? It's a triple axis Trebion, in fact. Oh my goodness. It's like carrying like a big fish bowl on your wrist. <laughs> but it's beautiful. And Kevin Leary, he approves. He approved it? Yeah, Mr. He, Wonderful? Yeah, Mr. Wonderful himself. He invested? What do you think about my new watch? I love this shit. What else you got? If you're Jacob, you already have other watches. Actually, I only have three. So I have a day date, 36mm rose gold from 2009, and they partake the Nautilus steel. Nautilus. Yeah. This, this is a crazy f***ing piece. Yeah. But you got to be careful walking around with that. In Abu Dhabi, it's okay. Yeah. The great thing about Abu Dhabi is you can wear your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And no security needed. The no only city where right? you can drop out a Dubai big by the gun. No, Dubai where are you something. based? I'm based in Miami. Walk out with a watch in Miami, yeah. execute yeah. immediately. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta wear you know, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sad. Carl Rudefeld. Yeah. Is that your name? That is approximately I think your name, name was Carl Moon. I am from the moon, so I am Carl from the moon, but uh, Carl Runefeld is uh, my name. How do you think they made that so tiny logo? Bro, it took seven months to make this. And how much does the CryptoPunk cost now? The CryptoPunk, uh, I bought it for a million, and uh, now it's worth, I think, 100 k How much? 100, I, I don't know, but I, I paid a million dollars for the CryptoPunk, which is inside. This guy. This fist. I think it's worth $100,000 now. Nice. The, the punk was just a stupid flex. I thought it would make me cool. How long did it take to make this watch? Seven months. 
Seven months. Just one guy, just like no, many guys, many many guys, but handmade, handmade, yeah, yeah, every single, because you you don't see this anywhere else in the world, like there is nothing white labeled. Everything is done by Jacob and Co themselves. Like they made this watch, everything. Rock paper scissor, winner gets it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it for the video. This for sure not. But let's do it. Let's do it. Rock paper scissors. Yeah, but okay. So if you lose, then what happens? <laughs> you can't get the watch. <laughs> I feel like the, the risk reward win, the for watch. me is quite bad. <laughs> what, 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 what point? No, bro. <laughs> I want my watch. I want to keep my watch. <laughs> All right, later, later. Yes. Oh, we we can do rock paper scissors for a thousand dirham. Okay. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, two to three. Two three. And we paid now. You have it now, yes? No. No. Of course. I have it now. You have a card machine? You need to sell some assets. <laughs> you have a card machine? Ah, you pay for my caviar. Um, <laughs> I don't lose. gamble. I don't gamble. You don't gamble? No. Play with not. Yeah, let's play. A thousand dirham? Yeah. <laughs> Two three. Two three. Yes. Yes. Anar Dreams has uh, 20 million followers, but I, it's not gonna help him when we do this. <laughs> one, one, two, boom. Ah. Oh, one, one zero. zero. One, one zero. zero. <laughs> one, two, boom. One, two, boom. <laughs> ah, one, one. Okay, this is it. Okay. A thousand dirham. When it gets yeah. one thousand dirham. One, one, two, three. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Follow your dreams. Easy, easy, my dear. <laughs> Do you want to win it back? <laughs> Double or nothing. <laughs> Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, bro. Good content. But I got poorer. <laughs> well, you, you decided to make the bet, bro. Nobody pushed you. It was my idea. I ran straight into that one. That's why you never chase quick money. They say quick money brings ego. Slow success brings char character. It is true. Well, quick money gets you into trouble, honestly. And usually quick money, you lose very quickly. Uh, easy come, easy go. Yes. Guys, this is the caviar. It just reached the table. Very nice. Thank you. Wow, that is nice. Wow, that's a good presentation, actually. I never saw it presented like that before. Okay, let, let's do it the proper way right now. Like this, like this. And I know people are in like the. Are you guys? This is fed and made handmade. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to touch his mouth. <laughs> Whoa! Do you like caviar, bro? Yeah, you're Russian. You love it. Amazing. $50 on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and you do the same thing to me. Look, $50. I'm sure this is like $20, $30. But I can't eat this now, right? You shouldn't. You, 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 know, you, you shouldn't. If it was bear market, I would. Okay, guys, this is crazy. So we're sitting here chilling. Now we actually, I'm full. I ate a lot of food. And uh, you told me that we should go to Syria. Yeah, you should go there. Yeah. It's a, it's a good place. We're going to go to Syria, guys. And we will be safe because you will organize armored uh, vehicles and, and uh, military. Yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, that's good. I'm excited, like, actually. Like, I, I don't know what to expect, but very soon you will see a video. I'm in Syria or I'm going to Syria and, and it's, gonna, it's about to go down. Yeah. And you keep us safe there. Yeah, of course. It's like really safe over there now. Yeah. Okay, guys, so um, we have to blur your face, right? Right? Yeah. Because you're too connected in Syria. Yeah. This is going to be an incredibly crazy trip. We already planned some crazy stuff, so subscribe right now so you don't miss our Syria trip. See you in Syria. So Ahmad Mahmoud just spotted a Ford GT. Should we inspect it slightly? That is actually beautiful. Wow, what is that? Those lights are crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy car actually. Very beautiful. Okay, guys, Ahmad Mahmoud has one of the best podcasts I've ever listened to, by the way. Oh, thank you so much, bro. And you know why? Because you were one of my first few guests and you supported me. And now I'm going to make you proud. Thank you, bro. My okay, guys, we're going to do a new one soon. To Ahmad Mahmoud's thank you so podcast. Much, bro. Thank you so much. Tonight I'm going to go home now because it's fing late. And That's it. I'm night out, out, early night. Tomorrow, what time are you going to wake up? 5 a.m.? Meditate? Uh, no. Affirmations? Tomorrow, uh, office at uh, like 9 a.m. and then in the office the whole day. Nice. Yeah. Productive day. Yeah, hopefully. it's Monday tomorrow. Go home, write down your goals. It's the beginning of the week, guys. Exactly. Tomorrow is the first day of the week. Everyone's like from the weekend, like, yes, yes, I yes. had a good weekend. Yes, yes, yes. And when are we going Coming to Syria, like a shark. bro? 
Joey Diaz, huh? When are we going to Syria? We're going to see you very soon. Keep it on the DL. It's happening. Big things. Big things coming up. Yeah, too big. Guys, subscribe. Press the notification bell right now. And press this video popping up on top of his face right now. Click it right now. Click my face. And now he goes over there. Click Bye -bye. my face.